Susan, you know, we all heard about concerts turning kind of dangerous sometimes, but everyone we spoke to says this concert really was on another level in terms of the chaos, and they walked us through what happened in the moments leading up to those eight people being killed. This is bad. My life's in danger. I, we need to get out of here. Less than one minute after Travis Scott took the stage Friday night, Bashir Kashif describes how Astro World Fest turned into chaos. There were times where I was floating in the crowd, like I'm, I was, I was being held up just by people squishing me. Like I was getting crushed, just like everyone else, and I was like basically kind of fighting for my life to get out to the outskirts. Manuel Guzman is from Torrance. Yeah, he wanted to see the concert so much he flew to Houston last week. Fifty thousand people went to Astro Fest. Investigators say the crowd started pushing toward the stage, leading to dozens of people up front getting trampled and many unable to move or breathe. You could hear people screaming. You could hear people screaming for help. You could see uh, like lifeless bodies getting dragged out. Everyone around me, including myself, was probably like, like crying and screaming for help. But Guzman says he knew something was wrong hours earlier when thousands of people blew past the fence just to get in. He says he's never seen a concert get so intense. I've seen mosh pits before, but it, it was for anything like this. Like there was just no self-control. There was no regard for like anyone's safety. Um, it, it's like everyone just wanted like just pure chaos. No one was really taking it seriously. And that was the scariest thing. Eight people who went to that concert are now dead. First responders say scores of others were hurt. They had no chance. Travis Scott released a statement saying he is absolutely devastated by what took place and that his prayers are going out to the families impacted. But a lot of people at that concert are now left demanding answers. He, at one point, he pointed at someone. He said that person is passing out. They need help. And then he just performed the next song. Still in shock that a popular music festival ended with fans being killed. The whole thing was very unsettling with how it was handled. And as you just heard, uh, fans now want to know if Travis Scott should or could have done anything else to stop this. Earlier, he de de did say that he was completely devastated by this. And earlier, just now, he posted a video to his Instagram story where he is very emotional and further explains what he will do to try to help the victims' families. Take a listen. I want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. As you can imagine, investigations will be ongoing, especially since in 2019, three people were hospitalized at Astroworld Festival for a very similar situation. So there's clearly a lot for investigators to sort out. Reporting live in Van Nuys tonight, I'm Jessica O, oh, Fox 11 News.